Hello everybody, this is Zigzag Zog coming to you from Western Kentucky and we're going to be continuing our playthrough of Total War Three Kingdoms playing as Sun John. And speaking of Sun John, we have a little siege going on here that we are going to start out this playthrough uh, by attempting to break the siege. Uh, when we look at Sun John, we notice that the balance of power seems to be against us. So uh, it's going to be a tough little battle, even though you think our stack is bigger than his stack. But actually, when you start looking at the amount of depleted forces we have, it is not such a good looking stack compared to his. So we're going to have our work cut out for us. We got Huang Gai, who's very depleted and injured. Uh, we have Lady Wu, who is somewhat depleted and injured. And, excuse me. And even Sun John. Is, so everybody's injured, but I don't think we have a choice but to come forth and see if we can break this siege, and that's just what we're going to do. Let's take a look, quick look. So it's calling a close defeat. Actually, we do outnumber him when you count in our meager little uh, extra forces here. Uh, down in the commandery, our garrison. Uh, but... Let's see what the map looks like. If there's any tricks to the map. Pretty wide open with some forest. Smattering of, of trees and forest in between. So let's get in there, start this battle, and see if we can come through on the positive side. We are the aggressor. We are the attacker. Um, as far as forces of archers, we're looking for fairly even we do seem to outnumber him even in our depleted state with cavalry so that may be something we can work to our advantage uh, other than that it's melee on melee and uh, he matches up very well that way especially outnumbering us in that area overall so we'll see if we can concentrate our forces at the right time okay here we are we have no guerrilla deployment in order to get us up there any closer he is he is set up right behind that line of trees. So I'm thinking, yeah, we definitely got our work cut out for us, don't we? I'm thinking we will try and he's got his, where are his archer? His, his arrows and archers are in the front. So we're gonna have to try and advance well, we're just going to have to do it a big advance up on him and see if we can't. Boy, oh boy. A lot of spear, a lot of spear, a lot of spear. And have to move up against the spear. That just worries me to death. Uh, so we'll see. I think what we'll do is we will wait. We'll fast forward and any fast forwarding I need to do in the editing to just speed it up. We'll wait probably to get our reinforcements up with us because we're going to need every little bit we can get. And I think we will turn off the duels so we don't have to worry about accepting or denying any duels. We're just going to not be willing to duel. Now he does seem to be moving forward a tiny bit which I find interesting. Because he in no way has to be the one to do the attacking, that's for sure. But it looks like that's what he's going to do. Kind 
kind of spread out our defenses, but only temporarily because he is starting to charge forward. Well, things seem to be going well. We got leaders exiting all over the place. Our leaders are hanging in there, even in their injured form. Somehow get his leader beat up upon. victory sorry I got quiet there on the battle but we claimed victory I snapped the victory out of the jaws of defeat I was so busy clicking on units I forgot to say hey this is what I'm trying to do this is what I'm trying to do <laughs> well I think you all knew we we're trying to win the battle so I'm gonna chase some of these units down see if we can deplete them big time and uh, in the meantime hang in there I'm gonna fast forward while I do this
And we got a close victory out of that instead of a defeat. So let's end the battle here. Shooey, shooey. I was surprised that we were picked as the underdog. It sure seemed like we had bigger forces, but then after looking at the meter predicting the battle, I started doubting myself also. Boom. So some general somewhere out of that army died. Yeah, it looks like the leader of that particular so we gained back some heroism which we we're starting to get depleted on we needed that and we are so deep re <laughs> we need replenishment let's put it that way we need replenishment we are worn out from our battles okay we ended the siege hooray and we killed in battle Zhang Yan Wow, what do you know? Oh, the allegiance. We we didn't kill Zhang Yan. We killed Zhu Gui, uh, working for Zhang Yan. Got to read those things right. <laughs> and we still got this military John with 12 expertise. Uh, I didn't think we had an immediate fit with anybody down here. Uh, we can take a look at Zhei Wei. Um, see what she has. She has a common John. So that actually probably will be an upgrade for her. The military John is a slight upgrade, 12 expertise, increases expertise, is a little bit better in all the melee aspects, so we will equip that. And it is a minor little upgrade, so we'll take it. Now secondly, we have used up our movement, so we can't use, move against, ah, there's Zhang Yang himself, uh, so we aren't able to move against him right at the moment. Um, we can always look. Well, let's go another turn. I was going to say we can always look at negotiating for peace now that he's had a little defeat at the taste of our forces. Uh, let's see if we can find him, Zhang Yan, right here. Just see how willing he would be. Oh, well, of course, after that defeat, he is very willing for peace. In fact, I may just take it right now, uh, get some more income from it. Of course, we could always look at vassalizing him also. What does that do to the mix? Oh, it totally is not <laughs> in his interest right now. So we'll get some payments from him and see if we can at least get something from this piece and how dare he come down into our lands <laughs> and try to take over our forces and defeat us in battle. Okay, we will get 2459 from him. I'll propose a deal and we will be at peace. So Sun Quan, we don't need you there anymore. We can probably next turn send you back to the city to get that going positive again because with you moving out of there, his chur his his the change this turn is is not going well. So we need you back in the city to start getting that a little more positive uh, so we don't get any kind of revolts over there everybody else it looks like we have moved so let's see if there's any other loose ends on this turn we signed a peace treaty with Zhang Yan and we assigned the military uh, John so let's take a look at where we might be able to build and I'm thinking in Changsha we can look at upgrading this temple just to get us moving in the positive with our public order because it has deteriorated tremendously because we got uh, no change this turn but our population is driving uh, the public order down so I think we need to start counteracting that so let's build the Confucian temple to help balance out that public order um, then we can also probably look at doing that in a lot of spots but we're downgrading there and I can't really let's see Badong. we have a harbor trader that'll help in keep going uh, positive with our income I'm gonna work on that right now and that's all the spending I may do all of course we got extra funds maybe what we'll do once and for all now that we have these forces over here Let's see if we can, oh, we can't recruit because we just had battle that turn. So there's nothing to upgrade or recruit there. 
Um, we are in. Did we? Yeah. No, we don't have anything to recruit here. Or I can't because I could look at upgrading though if I want to see about up, potentially upgrading some forces. So let's take a, a just look and see if we have the ability to upgrade or swap units if we have anything better available at this time. Um, the Archer Militia, that may be something we look at upgrading right here. We have the Onyx Dragons. There's a new unit for us. What's their abilities? Melee Toughness. They have much better melee toughness than, than the average archer, don't they? Let's try them. We've, we've gone with the mercenary archers. I want to take a look at upgrading and trying out some onyx dragons. And we'll just go and upgrade both of these, swap them out. There's a new unit for us to give a shot to. And then we also have our repeating crossbowmen. Do we have anything that we can upgrade possibly to in this army? Not, nothing of major note. Uh, the John Sword Guard Cavalry is anti-missile. That would be an upgrade. Not by much, but it, it's a slight upgrade and they do have more formations available. So perhaps what we do here, since we have the money to afford it, let's take a look at upgrading our cavalry for Sun Quan. Oh no, I switched out. I had it clicked the wrong way. <laughs> we want to undo that. There we go. <laughs> we want to be there and then switch out and then we'll upgrade this way. And we will click there and we will upgrade this way. Isn't it fun having money so we can do these upgrades and have a little fun? Now, Tsun Tse, you are in Force March, so we won't be able to look at any upgrades for you. Okay, I think that's a good point to end this turn, and let's see what the new turn brings us here. Um, in fact, let's just take a quick look. I'm curious to find out and refresh my memory. We're at war with Cao Cao. We know. We're going to see if we can't finish him off with Sun Tse. We are at war with Liu Zhang who is over here. We have a little tiny force here that we haven't had a need to really build up and do much with yet. We haven't seen any sign from Liu Zhang yet. We are at war with Liu Yu, which uh, we don't even know where he would be coming from. We are at war with Zhang Yang. Now Zhang Yan we got rid of, but Zhang Yang we are also at war with, and I'm not sure where he's at either, and then we are at war with Zerong, way over here. So we have this force down here that kind of deterred Zerong uh, from moving down. So hopefully, you know, he kind of turned around when Sensei came down, and hopefully we can still look at building up this force. So maybe that's where we look at any little extra funds that we have left. Uh, do we have a new general that might be a good fit? Well, we do as far as strategists go. Do we have a non-strategist that might be a fit? Lun Song, but he is a little bit. Oh, he's on assignment, though, so I can't use him. But he would be a fit, so when he comes off assignment, let's go find out how much longer he's on assignment. So two more turns and we can pop in Lun Song down here. We start losing our assignment. We're losing nobles that we can send on assignment because I don't have enough. But um, hmm, he would be a nice fit for this army to build it up because they wrong, he'll be back. Of course, uh, we're enough of a deterrent now. We would like to be even a better deterrent. In fact, if we get a strong enough force, maybe we could just move against Zerong once and for all and, and try to take that route also. So anyway, let's take, a, let's take a see what the next turn brings. Okay, he's retreating because we are at peace and Zerong is continuing to retreat also. 
So we have deterred the immediate threats, although we still have those that could surprise us popping on down. So we've got to keep our eyes open for that. Faction destroyed Dong Min. So that means the, the original factions of Dong Zhuo, because I think he's the one that took it over, are now gone. We have a new noble birth. A son has been born to Sun Quan. So he seems the one that seems to be most active for us, humility. So we have increased satisfaction for Lun Song. That's good. In fact, let's see what our satisfaction Our satisfaction's in good order just because we have this wonderful perk of heroism that we're doing well with. Uh, my other playthrough, we don't have the benefit of heroism and uh, keeping a general satisfies a little more work, a little more of a challenge. So that's all good news here. Humility, noble birth, and the faction destroyed. In fact, if we take a look at Sun, uh, the family tree, yeah, it's Sun Quan who's having all the activity here. Uh, of course, he is married, whereas Sun Tse is not. So that would be something. Uh, we could arrange marriage for 4,000. Yeah, I could afford to do that. So is that something we need to do is arrange marriage so we can get some more characters that way instead of having to worry about whether we can find some of the right fit. Let's go ahead and do that. I haven't, that, you know, that's something I haven't tried. That's a, that's a option that I haven't taken before in the family tree. So let's click on Sensei and let's see if we can't arrange a marriage. Spouse will be chosen from the suitable nobles to provide companionship and build the foundations of an inheritance. Since we haven't been finding anybody outside for negotiating a bride, we will just try someone from our nobles. And there we have Gu Shuyang. So maybe we'll start getting, there we go, some children. And hopefully it, it turns out to be a good arrangement or a good marriage. We have some more nobles in there that didn't seem to be a right fit when I was looking for that army at least. And we've de uh, finished demolishing Chen City, the rural administration office. So in that city, is Chen City, yeah, look at that. It's finally going positive even without Sun Quan in there. So we can see about doing something different with Sun Quan even at this point. Um, I think for you, Sun Tse will take you off Force March since the urgency is gone. And uh, well, maybe we'll keep you on Force March just to get you up to that border since you seem to be fully replenished. However, maybe we can take the slow walk since we're in harvest season and kind of now we don't have enough funds right now to upgrade anyway so uh we'll we'll keep you in forced march get you up towards the border up here to go after Cao Cao's last stronghold left and then sun quan i'm not sure what we need or want to do with you at the moment but uh I'm thinking what we'll do is we need to get your troops some more experience. You don't have very high level troops as far as uh, experience and maybe we can start moving you down. Um, start making some expansion moves and we got to figure our help go against uh, Zhirong down south. We'll have Sun John up north uh, against other threats we can't see and we'll have Sun Tse up north finishing off Cao Cao. Uh, that should hopefully be enough to hold us together there and then so that I think that's what we'll do I think that's what we'll do and You're fully replenished. Let's get you into forced March get you moving to Figure out the quickest way to get you down there We'll cut you over this way Okay, I think we will look at 
Should we leave them there another turn? Now we got everything positive because we're there, things are going positive. And since I have nothing pressing at the moment, we'll leave Sunjan there just a little bit longer. I think normally though, we will probably move him strategically. Maybe it's a little better to move you over to the Chen farmland. I'm not sure. But that's what we'll do at this point. And then finally, I've got to keep my eyes over here in this force over here. Who's this? Well, that's Yuan Shu, so we don't have to worry about him. And finally, let's take a look here. And Lu Bai, are you still allied? Well, you don't seem to be in charge or over the Han Empire anymore. Where would, is there no such thing as, the, yeah, there's the Han Empire, vassal of Liu Yu. So it's changed the vassalage. So Liu Yu, let's see what you look like because it may behoove me to start thinking about moving against right here. A vassal here, I think it may just make sense to start moving against the Han Empire again because they are not tied to Lu Bai anymore. I'm glad I checked that out. Um, if that's the case, I think what we'll do is, is we will start moving this force. Let's get out of diplomacy. I always have a habit of opening diplomacy and then sitting in diplomacy and wondering why things aren't very responsive for me. Um, looks like we'd have to move along the coast, along the river to get over to the Badong iron mine. But that looks like it would be my next target with this army right here. Now the question is, I think we'll wait one more turn to build up some funds and maybe increase the force a tiny bit since we're gonna be moving on out and then uh, the force over here let me get my northern bearings again and then this force down here we'll wait for Sun Quan to get down here because by then my administrator or my uh, my noble on assignment should be freed up and uh, we'll be able to increase this army for attack against Zhe Rong and then we've got a couple armies, Sun Tse going against Cao Cao in the north, Sun John against any other incursions. So cross our fingers, we're kind of in position to react now as we look at starting to expand again. So let's take our next turn and see <laughs> what disrupts those best laid plans of ours. Zhang Yang, Zhe Rong. Okay, no, no surprises that we can see right now. Let's see what this has. Liu Bai invited Ma Tang into their coalition. We have Zheng Jiang signed a peace treaty with Tao Ying. Coming of age, Sun Ren is now coming of age. Oh, ready to serve, very nice. Very nice. In fact, I have an army that uh, provided you get along that you may just take over and get in charge of so you can continue and help us with our expansion. In fact, let's just check it out right now. Sun Ren. Oh, we don't get along. Who is it that you don't get along? Zhu Han, huh? That would have been the obvious fit, I would have thought. I'm not seeing Cheng Pu is always a possibility. Except where is Cheng Pu being used right now? He's the administrative. So actually, Cheng Pu, you, I may bring you into the force down here. Of course, it brings us uh, two sentinels in the same army. I don't know if that's the right fit to try and try and make in this army. So let's take our hats off and think about this army and see if Sun Ren with the personalities over here fits in. Not totally, who is not harmonious over? Ma Mi Di, 
Oh, so we got some tough fits, and we may just have to make a separate army for Sun Ren to have some fun with us, uh, or temporarily use her as one of our um, people we put out on assignment. So we will eventually find the right fit. And Lun Song is coming back on assignment. He'll be available for this army over here. Traits gained. Zhao Yu is brilliant. I like that increasing ammunition. And Sun Ze is understanding. So there we go. We have friendships forming between Sun John and Sun Quan. Well, I hope he's your sibling. <laughs> I would hope you're going to get along with your child. And we have an engineer available for expertise. So we'll see if we have somebody who might be able to use an engineer. Someone like you. That leaves us with an overseer left. In fact, we have Zhu Han who needs someone. And that seems like a fit right there also. And as far as buildings go, we finished a small city in Poyang and the Confucian Temple in Changsha. So that should mean Changsha is starting to move into the positive. Yes, their public order is now in the positive. In fact, all our public order is in good shape at the moment. Yeah, so we're looking okay as far as that goes. So overall, not bad, except I want to look at building up this army right here. I think that's the one that we're going to look at building up and see who might be the right fit. Cheng Pu, I'm thinking. I'm kind of almost leaning for Cheng Pu. We just seem to have a lot of sentinels available, and I definitely would rather have two sentinels as opposed to two strategists. And Cheng Pu, I've, I'm anxious to see you in battle. So uh, let's give this a shot, and we will recruit Cheng Pu. Yes, very good. Um, I'm thinking we will add some more uh, John Sword Guards, and I can afford a couple. And do we just complete it off? What do we complete it off with? We have a couple. I'm thinking a couple G Militia to round it out. And do I want to look at some upgrades here? I'm thinking with our strategist, we got enough. And I think we're going to want to upgrade our archer militia too. So I got all sorts of upgrades and things I'd like to do. We can't afford the onyx dragons. We can always just switch it out to mercenary archers, which is definitely an upgrade as far as ranged power goes. We'll just hold off for the upgrades there for the moment. And let's see who we have to move. I'll let them replenish and build up a tiny bit before we move them against the Han Empire. And I will check since that uh, the loyalties there seem to be changing left and right. Now we had a Kongju. We do have a treaty to be able to move through their lands. Same with Liu Bai over here, so we should be fine moving him south. And we're looking at Sun John. And I'm almost thinking now is the time we can start moving you out. And I'm going to move you and park you in the Chen farmland for now until Sun Tse frees up. And Sun Tse, we're going to get you to the border, take you off force march, get you right up to the border. And we'll see if we can cross this river without going into the territory over here. 
No, 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 no. We don't want you going over there, Sin John. There we go. Let's actually click on Sun Tse and get him off forced march. And then we will move you up to the border and hopefully be able to cross over without going into any... Yeah, I don't know if it'll let us. I don't know if it'll let us. We may have to do some negotiating over here with Tao Ying to try and gain access to his lands. We shall see. So I think we got everybody positioned, everybody moved. And on that note, I think we've been going at it long enough for this particular mission, seeing as how we started out with a battle. Uh, and we got some more battles now that'll be coming up. We're ver on the verge of being able to move in against Cao Cao. We are on the, almost on the verge of coordinating these two armies to move against our enemy over here, Zhe Rong. And we will be able to start since they're no longer affiliated with Liu Bai. I didn't want to risk going to war with him at this time, but the Han Empire is no longer a vassal of his. So we will risk upsetting someone else uh, to start continuing our expansion against the Han Empire territories. So hope the plan works for you all. If you have any other different ideas that you'd like to see or you think I should pursue, please leave a comment, let me know. Uh, also, I'd love if you're enjoying these videos, give me a subscribe, give me a like, let me know how I'm doing. This is Zigzag Zog signing off from Western Kentucky, and thank you very much for watching.